What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to inspect your crankshaft position sensor on my 2015 FJ09. But this should apply to FZ09 and MT09 bikes because they all share the same engine. So, right off the top, the spec we're looking for is a resistance spec across this two wire sensor. The sensor is usually measured at room temperature around 20 degrees Celsius, and we're looking for a spec that's 228 to 342 ohms of resistance. The sensor resides behind this cover here that also includes the stator. The wire runs up here under the frame and next to the battery box. So for this job, we're gonna have to take off the seats and get into the battery area. Now, one additional note, if you go through all this, measure the sensor and it still checks out just fine, it's possible that the air gap between the sensor and the pickup rotor is wrong. It's supposed to be 0.85 millimeters and it's possible that something is on the head of the sensor or, you know, it was installed improperly. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the inspection. Now the crankshaft position sensor is between this ABS module and the battery box and it's also underneath this red positive power line that goes up to the lead here. So what I'm going to do is take out the battery and take off this lead so I have some room to work around the box and get under that power cable. Now with the battery out of the way we can get to the coupler, it's that connector right there. All you got to do is push down on the thumb tab. Got it. All right, now with our sensor wiring exposed, our multimeter is set to measure anything under 2,000 ohms. We can measure it. The spec is supposed to be 228 to 342 ohms. You're supposed to put your black probe on the black lead or the black wire, and you're supposed to put the red one on the gray wire. It's not too important because you get the same measurement either way, but it's good practice to follow the manual. And as you can see, we got 303 ohms or 0.303 kilo ohms is because we're in a kilo ohm setting. So that's good. Uh, now to reconnect the harness, uh, basically I've just pulled up on this main bundle right here, kind of get, and I shove my finger around the backside and you can just barely see the connector popping up here. Uh, but find the side that's the top, that's this side with the little knob on it, push it in, wait for the click. And hey, that's a satisfying click. Make sure it's in, because you don't want to come back to do this and then just tuck the harness back where it should be. Now put the battery back in, seat on, good to go. And that's a wrap on inspecting the crankshaft position sensor on my 2015 Yamaha FJ09. I hope this helped you out resolving your code 12 or no start situation. The crankshaft position sensor is such a vital sensor because it tells the ECU what the relative position of the crankshaft is to the entire engine, which enables the ECU to figure out when to inject fuel and when to send a spark. So without that, the engine really can't do much. So it's pivotal that you have the sensor in good condition. Hopefully yours is sorted now. As always, thanks for watching everybody. Please smash the like and subscribe button down below if this video helped you out. And as you probably know, we got more FG09 CP3 content coming to you real soon. So subscribe for more to come. Thanks for watching and have a good day.